what's going on this video is going to seem familiar but it's actually different i did do a very similar video but this should be more helpful for you guys that want to change your cyberface id on your players all right so you see this link here you see these instructions here this is just cut and dry to the point big shout out to jeek 313 um i'm going to leave the link to his thread down in the description he has a media fire link all you have to do is download the file from media fire and then once you have it you have to make sure you already have cheat engine but if you already have cheat engine once you download this you can just double click on the file and it should open right up in cheat engine like what i'm doing i need to upgrade my version of cheat engine but whatever all right so the next thing that you need to do is well first of all you need to have the game running already in the background and if you do have the game running in the background then just come over here <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry I'm just showing you guys that I have the game running in the background uh let me pull it back up and come over here top left corner you click that and you can select nba 2k21 click open you want to keep this click yes all right so everything is question marks as it should be that's how it should be okay um you need to go into the edit player screen in game so what i'm going to do i'm just going to pull up a creative player and i'm going to go to <clears throat> i'm going to go to edit player it doesn't really matter which one of these i use All right, so now I'm in edit player and as you can see everything is populated now if you see right here at the top you see the names of course stuff like that but CFID if it equals one that is a creative player but if you double click on that one you can change it all right so you see the face that it has right now you guys you see the body and everything all right we want to come over to body because that will allow us to refresh it I'm gonna use 1013 because I know that's LeBron James click OK so I just double click on a value change it click OK now I'm gonna change his height and then give it a second and the face refreshes on its own now he is LeBron James which is exactly what we wanted alright I'm gonna go in here and change it to something else now you need to know the cyberface IDs so I'm gonna type in 750 7 sorry 751 7051 and if I come over here to shoes and gear, like if I go from home to away, his face should be refreshing. But there is no 7051 uh, Cyberface ID, and I don't have a created Cyberface with that ID, but there is a 6051. That is an ID that works because that has Cyberface already. So as you can see, the face changes again. And from here, you can just do whatever you want to do. Again, you can refresh the cyber face after you change it in the cheat table by just going to body and changing the height or going to shoes and gear and just giving it a couple seconds to refresh and the cyber face will change. From there, you can keep your changes. Um, I usually like to just add the cyber face to a creative player so it doesn't have a portrait. That's the easiest way for me. And then you can import the player DNA of all the attributes and stuff like that that you want to have um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah and that's about it now here is a disclaimer uh, this cheat engine works right now but if they when they patch the game the cheat engine may not work because of the address the addresses will likely change in the game now it's not a guarantee that it won't work um, but it's not a guarantee that it will work but for right now since we don't have a patch this cheat table works it could need updating after the patch thank you guys